Good evening, uh, Manuel. Um, my name is Clint Corver. Uh, just a blessing to have the opportunity to share at this service. Um, Thanksgiving service is one of my favorites, and maybe yours as well. Uh, I think a big part for me is not having to listen to Uncle Ken give a sermon. Um, so I told that a joke got cleared after the first service, so um, we're good to go. Um, now, when I moved here from Iowa with my wife a few years ago, uh, we pretty much just knew our extended family, and that was about it. So maybe some of you had that same experience of coming into a manual, not mo knowing many people. But I'd, I'd say more than most churches, this church just embraces people and welcomes, welcomes people in. So I'm so thankful that this church um, has that wide embrace and heart for people um, because it's incredible. And three years later, this is our home. You know, uh, I'm from Iowa, but this is my home. And so I can't imagine being anywhere else but, uh, but here in Southern California and, and worshiping with you at Emmanuel. Um, I've been asked specifically to, to share how the Vantage Point 3 class, which is a spiritual development class we have here, um, has encouraged my faith and how it's, it's growing our body here. So um, I could spend all three minutes or longer talking about what the class is, but um, we don't have enough time for that. So I'm just going to share how, it's, how the, that class has helped change me and grow me. Um, the verse that is foundational to this to Vantage Point 3 is Ephesians 2.10. For we are God's masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. And I'll get back to that verse later. Um, since you aren't used to seeing me up here, um, you can piece together I'm not a pastor. Um, but I, I, had a, I have a grandpa and uncles and a cousin that, that are. And that was difficult for me when I graduated from college and started in the business world. Um, you know, you're looking around going... This is not what really what most of my people in my family do. Like, am I wasting opportunities or my talents? Am I where God wants me to be? And, and I wonder if many of us are in that place at seasons of our lives where we're just kind of wondering, God, you know, what do you have for me? Am I in the right place? How can you use me? Um, I had opportunities, but I think I kind of got stuck. And, um, and so what I, and, and stuck in believing a lie that what I was doing wasn't very significant. And the result is that I didn't seek to serve. I didn't take advantage of the opportunities in front of me that God had placed me in. So when I went through this Vantage Point 3 class back in my church in Iowa, and then I later went through it back here at Emmanuel, I realized that the whole of my life mattered to God. There weren't just pieces that mattered. All of it mattered. In fact, he had shaped me through life experiences, relationships, strengths, and talents that he'd given me for specific purposes, for like Ephesians 2.10 purposes, things that he'd planned in advance for me to do, good works. The class helped slow me down to pay attention and notice where God was at work and how he wanted me to participate with him. I stopped being a spectator and began to more confidently serve and lead out of who God created me to be and how he had shaped me. The job that I thought wasn't significant actually gave me opportunities to steward and serve and bless other people, things that I valued. The summers I spent painting houses with my dad and earning money for college made it a natural fit when I moved out here for me to be a lieutenant at the Compton Initiative. God even used difficult seasons in my life to teach me how to more patiently walk with others and to point them to Jesus rather than trying to fix their problems. My eyes were opened to how God was weaving together the pieces of my life towards his life of service and purpose. One of the ways he's called me to serve here at Emmanuel is to be a facilitator for these Vantage Point 3 classes over the last couple years. As I've walked with others through the process, I'm 100% convinced that that class will be something that God continues to use as a tool to grow us deeper in our lives at Emmanuel. Richard Foster writes, superficiality is the curse of our age. The doctrine of instant gratification is a primary spiritual problem. The desperate need today is not for a great number of intelligent people or gifted people, but for deep people. I'm learning that becoming a deep person is a process, one that takes time and isn't always easy. It can't be microwaved, downloaded, or just taught to us in a sermon. People are coming out of the Vantage Point 3 classes not knowing everything about their lives and what God has for them, but having a deeper knowledge of who God is, who they are, and how God might be asking them to participate with him in kingdom work. They don't have things completely figured out, and neither do I, but we are in process of becoming deeper people. The world needs deep people. Our workplaces need deep people. Our families need deep people. So in wrapping up in this Thanksgiving season, I'm thankful that Ephesians 2.10 is not just a verse, but it's actually a way of life for us if we're open to it. God loves us so much that we can receive his love and he calls us masterpieces, that we, he considers us beautiful creation uh, even though we sin and fall short. So I'm thankful of that type of love from God the Father, and I'm thankful that then he does this crazy thing of inviting us in 
uh, to be active participants in his kingdom work. Um, so I'm grateful for those two things. Happy Thanksgiving, and God bless.